Hi everybody on YouTube. How's everyone doing today? Oh yeah. And now it's time for the top 10 favorite movies for 2023. And oh my gosh, we're almost done with this year, folks. Next year is going to be 2024. I know, I've been making videos all day and review movies all day too. So yeah, I never stop YouTube. So anyways, let's get started. Number 10, Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The third Ant-Man movie after the first one and the second one. Yep, I don't know why it's number 10 on the list. So, hmm, I don't know why. So, the worldwide was um, $476 million. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Wow, that was number 10 on the list. For this movie. Yep. We all know Paul Rod. And a few other stars you may recognize from the past Ant-Man movies you see. Yep. Back in the day. Number 9. Disney and Pixar's Elemental. Yep. Another new Disney and Pixar movie we have. So that was pretty good. Oh yeah. I still have it on Disney Blu-ray and Combo Pack. Yep. I still have it in my collection. So that was number nine on the list. And it was um, $476 million and over. Oh man. Wow. That was number nine on the list. Yikes. But hey, that was a good movie that I saw. Disney and Pixar's in uh, Elemental. Excuse me. Yeah. Not Inside Out. No, 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 no. We're talking about Elemental. I still have that movie ticket though. You probably saw my video of me when I have movies I saw from 2023. That was number nine on, li on the list, Elemental. Number eight, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part One. Yep, after Mission Impossible fall out and now we have this one. Tom Cruise, oh yeah, my man. Tom Cruise from um, Top Gun Maverick that I saw last year. He's awesome. He's a great actor. I love Tom Cruise. My man. As Ethan Hunt. He's awesome. Can't wait for the Dead Reckoning Part 2. But I'm not sure when is it going to happen. Anyway. Number 7. Disney's The Little Mermaid. The new one. Yeah. People say that uh, they like the old one. Than the new one. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, some people like it, some people don't. So, yeah. It was a great music movie for me, especially. So, I like that one. I know I saw the old one before the new one. So, I still have it on Disney Blu-ray combo pack. Still have it. Yep. Saw that movie as a kid. That was pretty good. Number six. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so for number 8, Mission Impossible Debt Reckoning Part 1, $567 million. Oh, man, worldwide. Yikes. Saw this, the box office mojo.com. So you can look it up when you get a chance. Anyway, The Little Mermaid. Oh, so close. $569 million. Oh, man, so close. Anyway, let's get back to it. Number six, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The sequel to Into the Spider-Verse. I know I saw that movie a long time ago. So, that was pretty good. Yep, same actor from Into the Spider-Verse. Well, except for the other star from the Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Anyway. $690 million. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. People love Spider-Man, and so do I. I love Spider-Man also. So, that was pretty good. Number 5. Fast X. Yes, the 10th installment of the Fast and Furious movies. Vin Diesel, of course. And everybody that you may recognize. Yep, that was a great movie. That was number 5 on the list. $704 million. Oh my gosh. For the box office. Yikes. This is amazing. Yep. Love that movie. Yep. 
Oh, and one more thing. I have to remind you guys that you should never do. Here, this is what you should never do. Yep, don't even think about it. So anyways, that was Fast X number four on the list. No, number five on the list. I'm sorry. Whoops. Okay. That was a good movie. Now, number four. Guardians of Marvel Studios, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Chris Pratt. Yep. I know, Chris Pratt from Super Mario Brothers movie as Mario. Now he's back as Peter Quill. Yep. That was a good movie. That was number four on the list. And you know what's funny? Peter Quill said an F word. Oh my god, that makes me want to laugh. <laughs> oh man I laughed so hard because uh, the f-bomb part anyway that was pretty funny anyway 845 million dollars oh my gosh wow for Guardians of the Galaxy number three that was number four on the list so it's pretty good number three Oppenheimer written and directed by Christopher Nolan Cillian Murphy yep He's a great actor. I know he starred from The Quiet Place Part 2 with Emily Blunt. That was back in 2021. So, yep. And now together again in this movie. And also other star included Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pugh. Yep. That was a good movie. That was number three on the list. Almost a billion dollar. Oh man, almost. Ooh, so close. 952 million. Wow. Amazing. That was number three on the list. Okay. Number two. Super Mario Brothers movie. Yes. Yes. I still have it on Blu-ray combo pack. And I barely watched that movie in 3D. So that was pretty good. Everybody loves Mario. Especially with you and your family who loves it. So do I. I love Mario a lot. Especially my games that I play. And also, I want to say thank you to you guys that um, you love my Mario costume. So, someday, I'm going to wear it again. So, yeah, someday. And also, I still have my Mario movie toys I have. All of them are complete. And also, the RC and my big... Mario and Luigi toy. Oh, and Bowser. Yep, that was number two on the list. Super Mario Brothers movie. It was one billion dollar and three hundred sixty-one million. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yikes! That was number two on the list. And number one, Barbie. Margaret Robbie. Yes, and also with Ryan Gosling. Margaret Robbie's fantastic as Barbie. Yep, she's great. Especially the music and everything. So, that was really good. That was number one on the list. And it was... Wow! It beat Super Mario Brothers in the box office. Ouch! Woo! That hurt, huh? I know, that hurts, right? Ouch! But anyway, yeah. That's Barbie. That's number one on the list. Okay, everybody! Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm sorry I haven't made videos for a while. And all my videos are lost. So I'm very sorry. So anyway, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Do whatever you want, okay? I will see you for the movie review for 2024.